Today I'm painting something a little different than usual. I'm painting a very sketchy, uh, quick owl with an abstracted sky. And I've already put one layer of a very thin paint on the back of this birch plywood panel. Now the panel is, it came pre-gessoed with clear gesso. So um, I like that because you can kind of see the grain of the wood underneath. And um, I was just actually going to paint the owl and a few feathers. But then at the end, I decided that I wanted to add a few effects. And so I added some drippy, um, kind of moody sky in the background. And I'm very happy with the results. So it's a little different than what I normally do, but um, stay and see what happens if you want. So um, again, I'm just very um, loosely and quick uh, doing a an owl and um, he's flying and I'm just kind of posing him. I've seen a lot of owls on the ranch in Idaho. Sometimes when at night I'd be on a four wheeler, uh, which is like open and I they actually have owls flying alongside and like um, like playing with us. And um, so it's kind of cool. So I really do like um, owls and I'm used to like screech owls and the great horn owl and barn owls. Um, they're all really cool. So um, these are just some feathers. I've got a bunch of feathers I purchased on Amazon and I've been having fun with them. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, so I actually decided to put a few here on the, the painting, but then when I um, add the background, I kind of cover them up. Uh, so that's okay. They still kind of show through. Um, this is very ex experimental, like I said. So um, yeah, just trying to mass in the body, the head and then the large wings and the feet. I have the feet kind of posed the way I want. Uh, owls have uh, claws like an eagle. They're predators so um, they have those uh, talons I guess you would call them uh, that are really good at attacking and even um, killing their prey that they're gonna eat. So um, and definitely carrying. I mean I've seen owls carrying rabbits and all kinds of really heavy things. So um, the eyes are important. Um, they're like yellow. They're so big and then uh, I wanted to get them right and I actually think I go over them like two or three times just to make sure um, because it, since I'm doing a very sketchy and loose brush stroke um, gestural painting I end up kind of having to adjust the eyes. Um, back and forth uh, between paint brush strokes. So I'm um, just putting some of the markings on uh, with the light colored paint and I've added a glaze to the acrylic paint to make it uh, take a little longer to dry and it does add a little transparency also uh, which I wanted with this painting. So just a few of the highlights and light feathers and we're just about done with the owl.
right, it's getting later in the evening and I've decided to, now that the owl is dry because it's acrylic paint, I decided I wanted to, to add the moody layers and I'm going to use the cerulean blue and a little white and maybe mix in a little of the colors that are on the palette that are still wet. Uh, so uh, I kind of wanted to do a little bit of drippy uh, paint, really thin glaze because I still want to be able to, when I put the varnish on, see some of the wood grain shining through the background. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some drippy layers with a mop brush. And um, honestly, this was a little wa more watery than I wanted it to be. So I decided um, I didn't want it covering the owl so much. Um, I'm, I'm fairly happy with this first uh drippiness but um, I I want to have a little more control over it and um, I I want to be careful because I also don't like um, a lot of drippy paint on in art I think that it can become a crutch um, I think a few drips are okay but it's kind of like profanity you know like needs to be really edited to be effective so um, yeah so that I this first layer is okay but I decide to go back and after this dries I take a little cerulean blue and you can see a little yellow there I'm gonna make it a little warmer and black and then I think I even add a little bit of zinc white um, but I also added a, a clear leveling gel um, so I think actually, oh yeah, this is, I've decided I need to um, bring back more of the owl. We're working in layers here. So yeah, I kind of forgot about this part. So uh, yeah, so we're just, because I had painted over, some of those drips really covered the owl more than I wanted. So I decided I would... Um, add some paint to the owl. Okay, and so now it's getting really moody, and then again, I'm gonna blot some of this off the owl because um, I left some of it though, as you can see, and then I'm going back and fixing the eyes. And, uh, sorry, I did this painting yesterday, and so now I'm just trying to remember everything, and I'm just like live chatting as I go through the video. Um, so yeah, then now I'm just adding back uh, some of the, main details and this is actually kind of a cool atmospheric look now because when I see owls at night I, I mean they're so like stealth that you really never at night see um, much of the owl it's like a sighting and then it's gone and um, I mean sometimes like if I'm in my car it's usually better sometimes I can see them just kind of gliding through the air alongside the car and they'll stay with the car which is really cool but um, a lot of times they're in and they're out and you're lucky if you saw the sighting so um, that's kind of like the the look here I felt like when it was just bare wood um, the owl was too exposed so this um, atmosphere gives it a little more motion and a little more um, like um, uh, cover I guess you could say so um, this is actually um, I added the clear leveling gel which gives it a little more substance so it'll get a little more um, sticky or um, it has yeah it has a little more viscosity to um, uh, more than just the water um, because I wanted to get a little more of the drip effect but like I said only a little bit of drips because I you, people can get too carried away with drips on their art and um, I think that it has to be well edited like I said so this is all the drips I'm gonna do all right so now it's the two days later I've put a coat of uh, when you paint with certain varnishes on straight on acrylic, you need to add a, a barrier. So I added, um, I think it's called um, some sort of gloss gel by Golden. I think it's a soft gel. Um, 
you add a layer of that thin down and then you can add your varnish so that um, it'll protect the painting. Um, now oil paint, it says that you can paint directly on the oil paint, but with the acrylic, you'll need to add that um, that barrier. Um, and that's on the, these are the golden varnishes, so that's what I've been using. But now you can see the wood grain, the gloss really brings out the darks in the painting and the, especially the wood grain. And so that's what I like about it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and this new uh, kind of fun little experimental art piece I did.